All right, we're going to find the approximate area underneath these curves, which is this equation, using these four different types of methods. We're doing three subintervals, and we're going to interval from negative three to three of this. Now, um, actually, this would be from negative two. I didn't change that to four is where we're going to go for. Forgot to change that. So from negative two to four. So to go from negative two to four, here's what we do. If I want a left side approximation, you start at negative two. You start from the left side. You go up. You hit the graph. And by the way, from negative two to four, that's a width of six. If I'm doing three subintervals, what you're going to understand, that means each one has a width of two. The, um, so you basically, re again, realize this is a width of six. So you can go from here to here. So if you break this up, can you understand that I'm going to have one, two, three subintervals, make three rectangles, all of a width of two. If it's left side, you go up, you hit the graph from the left side, and then go across. Make your rectangle. Then you go up for this one, hit the graph, make your rectangle. And then you go up, you hit your graph, and then make your rectangle. And then from there, we're going to find the area. So for the left side, if we're going to find the answer for the left side approximation, the width of this one, if I want the area, if you understand the width of all these is 2, so I'm going to put the 2 on the outside, because they're all going to be multiplied by 2. Now we just got to find the heights. Well, the height of this first one, if you can't see it because of the graph, didn't we just basically plug in negative 2 to the function? So isn't this basically f of negative 2? This is negative 2 here. This is 0. This is 2. This is 4. Then I plug in negative 2 this function. And then to get the height here, isn't this at 0? Isn't this basically f of 0? And the last one is f of 2? Now you can look at the graph I made, or you can realize this is f of 2, f of 0, f of, sorry, f of negative 2, f of 0, f of 2. If I find those values, f of negative 2, this is 16. f of 0 is 20, and this is also 16. So when you calculate the math for this, you get 2 times 52, which is 104 square units. Okay, That would be the left side approximation because we made rectangles based upon the left side. And the left side would be f of negative 2, f of 0, and f of 2 were the heights of those rectangles. If I want a right side, well, we still have these intervals. Remember that? You guys got that? But we're going to start from the right side. So we're going to start from here, go up, make a rectangle. Now we're going to start from the right side again. From here, we go up, make a rectangle. And from here, we go up and make a rectangle. Do you see how all these are based upon the right side, where the right side of the rectangle hits the graph? Hint the word right side approximations. So to do a right side, your area is going to be, well, these are all width of 2 still, except the first height, isn't that f of 0 for the first height? For the second height, isn't that f of 2? And for the third height, isn't it f of 4? f of 0, f of 2, f of 4. Those give you the height of this, this, and this, which is the height of each rectangle. f of 0, we said again, was 20. We said earlier this is 16. And f of 4, when you plug 4 into this equation, you get 4. So your answer is 2 times 40. When you add up all these, you get 40 which is 80 units squared. Now, does that make sense that this one is smaller than this one? Isn't this an over approximation, mostly? Doesn't it look like they have a lot of area outside over inside? Doesn't this one look like it's mostly underneath? So shouldn't this be under approximation? So shouldn't your answer be between 104 and 80? It'll be somewhere between these two answers. Next one, midpoint. 
Well, midpoint, again, here's my intervals. It goes right here. But midpoint goes by the middle of, these two, of this interval and goes up and hits the graph. Midpoint's a lot more accurate. Midpoint goes up, hits the graph. Midpoint goes up, hits the graph. Do you see how much more of the area, how more accurate this is? I shouldn't do that first line through the middle. Looks like two graphs, doesn't it? But I take the point in between those, I go up, I hit the graph, and make my rectangle. This. So for midpoint, well, your area is going to be still, aren't they all with the two? Except, what are we going to plug in for this one? Well, what did we plug in here to get this height? Isn't that f of negative 1? So we plugged in negative 1. Oops, that's not supposed to be there. Plus f of, well, how do we find this height? Isn't that f of 1? And the last height is f of 3. Plugged in 3 to get up here and hit that height. Which f of negative 1 is 19. This is also 19, and this is 11. So my answer is 2 times, when you add up all of this, you get 49 which your answer ends up being 98 square units. Is that between these two? Yeah, it should be. This should be between these two, because isn't this a lot more accurate looking? Yeah. Our last one is trapezoid method. And if I want to do trapezoid method, what you have to realize is you're making trapezoids. So basically, to make a trapezoid, you go up and hit from each corner, and you make a diagonal line, which that's going to be pretty darn accurate. Here we go up, hit the graph, make a trapezoid. And then from here we go up, hit the graph, make a trapezoid. Now as you can tell, that looks pretty darn accurate. Can you also tell it's going to be under approximation by just a hair? Because you can see area above that's not accounted for. Now here's the question though. How do you find area of a trapezoid? Well, you have to understand for area of a trapezoid, it's, um, it's one half. Um, the uh, height times b1 plus b2. So the basic formula for this one um, is a little bit different. You're going to take uh, half of the width. So the width is 2. So you're going to half that. And then if you're going to take b1 plus b2, b1 plus b2, b1 plus b2, b1 is this length, b2 is this. You just got to know the area of a trapezoid. Aren't we counting this length twice? If you're doing this plus this, this plus this, this plus this, don't we count these two inside ones twice? So it's basically going to be f of negative 2 plus 2 times f of 0, because we counted this one twice, plus 2 times f of 2, because we counted this one twice, plus f of 4, the outside one here. And when we add up all that, well, f of negative 2 is, this is 16. This would be 2 times 20, which is 40. This would be 40. This one would be 32. And this one's going to be 4. We add up all that. We get 1 times 92, which my answer is 92 units squared. Now, wasn't this an under approximation? Kind of what you said. So wouldn't it be somewhere between these two, which aren't these two between these two? So we're getting more and more accurate. So somewhere between these two numbers, probably closer to this from my guess, but I'm just guessing. And we have ways to exactly get these answers as well.